good afternoon everybody this is organic gaming and today is what is today Gosh, i don't even know thursday wednesday i can't i know it's the fourth but look at my phone thursday april fourth oh my gosh <laughs> yeah anyways you guys probably wondered what all that commotion was just about that i just you just saw earlier well uh, we got the soybean meal yesterday, and uh, uh, normally, well, we got two tote bags, and normally, we um, we always take and push it in with a skid loader, but right now, uh, my cousin, one of my first cousins that who we own half that skid loader with, he needed it to clean up some manure. I think he needed it to clean up some manure out of his goat barn. And uh, so he has it right now, so we couldn't use that to push him in there. So that was the next best thing. And the reason why I was, we've got to get him in there is because it's maybe going to rain tonight or tomorrow or something. So we better get him in there. So we had to use those hay bales to push him in. So, yeah. And obviously, yes, I did not do a video yesterday. Um, there's just too much other commotion going on around here. There's people showing up. Bank, the banker came and visited us, and uh, yeah, and we had, of course, the soybean meal came, and oh, I don't remember how many people showed up yesterday. Within one hour, there were just too many other things going on, and I got a haircut too. That's one of the other things I had going on yesterday. So, yes, I got that done, so I don't look like a hippie anymore. <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what's going on anyways um yeah i am going to try and do a video today on how to treat cows with mastitis organically and that's my plan here to do it and i hope i'm gonna get get to it here but uh so that's what the rest of this video is going to be out be about i hope something comes up because sometimes you never know who's going to come driving in <laughs> but uh yeah so um yeah so anyways guys i'll get back to you later i'm just loading up here for the dry cows and then i got to uh, load up for the cows again and uh, we'll be done for the day so i'm going to try to get that video i know those guys that want one I don't know how we do it so I gotta do what I advertise so I advertise that I would try to do one this week so this week is uh, disappearing pretty fast so. so I'll check back with you later thing here before I get to my mastitis portion of this video uh, we just gotta pick put this Brent gravity box in the machine shed because they're forecasting rain tomorrow I don't know maybe even a little bit tonight so we just want to put it in the shed and get that job done with so I'll get that thing uh, back in the shed here and uh, I'll get back with you and we can talk about mastitis. <laughs> okay everyone, uh, finally now we're to the point here where we're going to talk about how to treat cows for mastitis on an organic dairy farm. And uh, obviously these are some of the products that we use. Um, a couple of these are Crystal Creek to them or not Crystal Creek products. Which these other two you can get through Crystal Creek. We get through our local IBA dealer. Um, and stuff but um, my disclaimer here about treating cows um, organically um, for mastitis um, is a simple fact that um, your success rate is going to depend on how soon you notice a cow having mastitis it's also going to depend on the severity of the cow or the mastitis because there's obviously different strains of, of 
mass tinnitus, like, like um, the one just slips my mind all of a sudden. Um, Staph aureus, you know, it depends on what kind of strain you're dealing with. So sometimes if you're not sure about the strain that you're dealing with, you can always um, send a, like a cultured sample off with your milk collar, your milk handler. You can, you can do that and um, they can culture it. There's a method that you use to culture it. You use alcohol and cotton swabs and you, um, you have to sanitize the end of the teeth very good and you take and force strip it out, so strip it out a few times and then make sure you don't ever touch it and then strip it into a sterile container and send it off and they can culture it and they can come up with and tell you what kind of um, strain of mastitis you have so you kind of know what you're dealing with. If it's Staph aureus, you're probably going to want to get rid of the cow because they can spread that and they ain't ever going to cure it. So it depends on what kind of mastitis you are dealing with and it also depends on the health of your cows. That's the other thing that I'm going to say. Um, that's why it's so important, I think, if you work with Crystal Creek for the nutrition services. Um, a healthy cow is a happy cow. And if a healthy cow does get mastitis, because you're going to get, you know, like in the summertime, you're going to get flies biting at the end of, the, at the end of their teats. And it's going to cause, it can cause, you know, flies can spread bacteria. Um, and obviously fly control and organic farm, that's another subject, another topic for another day, for another video. So if you have questions about that, I could do a video on that someday too. But for now we're going to talk about how to treat mastitis. And so like I say, that's my disclaimer is, is it depends on the health of the cow. And I, I can't stress enough to work with Crystal Creek with their um, nutrition program that they have. So that way, um, you know, you have healthy cows and they have healthy immune systems. And so therefore they can fight it off. Because obviously, um, we're not using antibiotics. Um, that's the thing here, no antibiotics. To, um, and your idea is to keep that cow in the herd. Obviously there's severe cases if a cow gets toxic mastitis, um, that can be treated, it depends on the severity of it. There are things that you can use to um, treat um, because obviously, like toxic mastitis is where the bacteria produces a toxin. It gets into the cow's system and it can actually kill the cow if it's bad enough. And yes, we've had that happen in the past before we're, you know, we've had cows that have had toxic mastitis and we have treated successfully with being, since we've been organic and have gotten them over it. Um, but there is a product you can get from your local veterinarian. It is approved for organic use. You can use it. Um, and it's supposed to, you get IV them in the jugular vein. I can't, I can't think of the name of the product uh, right off the top of my head, but um, it, it's supposed to help to um, dilute the toxin or weaken the toxin. It does something to the toxin in their body. Um, the sooner you can get it IV'd into the cow, the better, but you know, um, last year we actually lost a cow from toxic mastitis. It was a very aggressive, quick moving form of mastitis, toxic mastitis. We treated it with that stuff that the vet recommended. We IV'd in the jugular vein and it still was not enough for the cow. It just, it, you know, depends on the severity, how bad the toxin is. But like I say, that's my disclaimer. So anyways, now what do we use? The first thing, if it's just a regular mild case of mastitis, um, this is the first thing that we use. Um, this is Ultra Mint Cream. This is obviously made by IBA. Um, you can also get this from Crystal Creek and theirs is called um, Dairy Linda Mint. Both products are very good. This is obviously approved for organic. You have to make sure it's approved for organic. And this says right on here, organic. So um, if, you, if you do business with IBA, um, you can get this and, and um, it's, it's like, um, I know it's like kind of like my grandma, she used to get this stuff called eucalyptus mint cream or whatever. And it creates a heating sensation. When you, if you put this little dab on your hand, you know, it's got a smell to it. It smells like mint. It's got a minty smell to it. And if you put this on the cows, the, the first thing we'll do is when we see a cow have mastitis, you know, they've got a swollen quarter. That's the first indication it's hard. And so we'll right away um, after we... Um, of course, we'll milk the, the cow out in the quarter bucket because we know that our quarter is going to automatically be high. And so we just milk it out in the quarter. It's going to be high with somatic cell because the somatic cell count goes up. And so rub this on the quarter. As soon as you get done milking it out, 
Do not milk in the tank because it's crap. But rub this on the quarter and it will help the capillaries to expand and help the antibodies go in there and help fight off the infection, the, back, the mastitis or the bacterial infection in there. So this is our first. We have cured cows with mastitis just by using this. It might take a week. It might take two weeks to get over it. But be persistent and keep applying this to that cow's quarter um, as long as needed. Um, use your, if you need it. If it I know there's other things you can use other than a CMT paddle, a California mastitis paddle. Um, actually, I'm going to go get that in case somebody doesn't know. I'm going to show you what that is. I'll be right back in just a second. Everybody, here is the California mastitis test paddle thing, or the CMT. Um, you got a purple solution here. And if you're in doubt, you know, put a little, you just put a little, little tiny squirt of this stuff in here in the thing and swirl it, you know, squirt, strip, strip milk from the quarter into this thing and swirl around. If it looks like really snotty, you know, you, if it's really thick and it looks like snot, you dump it out, you know, yeah, don't you want to milk that in the tank, put it in the quarter bucket if you got a quarter bucket. Okay, so with that said, if you have a cow that has a more severe case of mastitis, and the cream, this cream here, just is not cutting it. Um, you still want to keep rubbing this cream on, obviously, because it helps. So, what we do is we have another product um, that Crystal Creek has, and it is called Power Powder. It helps to, I don't know what I want to say, it helps boost the immune system, if you want to use that term. Um, it just helps. The animal be able to fight it off. You got it in these boluses or these pills, these capsules, and um, and that's another thing you want. You might need to give them. Um, obviously, there's the directions on here that tells you like a low need to administer orally one capsule um, twice per day as needed. You know, if it's severe, you know, give more. But this is the product here that you got to get if it's severe and. Sometimes you might need help too because there is swelling and you can use aspirin and organic. This is IBE aspirin and um, you can use these things, these aspirin boluses and for swelling because their quarter is going to have swelling and it's obviously mastitis for a cow. It can be very painful and so if it's really severe, you might need to give aspirin to them. Um, whatever the direction says, one or two boluses, twi two times daily. Another thing that you can use, um, I don't have it with me here right now, is you, you can use aloe, aloe vera juice. It has to be organic, obviously. And Crystal Creek does sell it. And here is a picture of it, because I don't have it right here, so you can see the picture right here. And so, um, and another thing too that helps them, maybe if they're having a little problem with going off of, of feed because they don't feel good, or something and maybe the, the, the bacteria in the rumen is out of whack at the same time they have mastitis just so that they stay on feed and so they feel good sometimes you might need to give these um, what they call is um, super boost um, you can give these capsules obviously they got directions on there how much to give uh, but basically it's a supplement providing vitamins and microorganisms for all classes of dairy and beef cows so it works for beef cows too and it's just like if they're if they're if the the product in the um I think this is the one. Yes. I believe this is the one that you give them. I could, could I, am I wrong about that? yes. You know, this is the one. This is the one that you, you can give them. Yeah. It's supposed to help, you know, for um if bacteria gets out of whack in their gut and sometimes if they get sick with mastitis they can they can have that and they won't feel good. So if it's a really bad case, you might have to use these too. Um, obviously, if you're in doubt, if you're in doubt, um, you can call um, somebody at Crystal Creek, um, call their number, um, you know, just go to www.crystalcreeknatural.com. They have the phone number in there. Talk to somebody there. If you're in doubt, you have, you want, you know, a good explanation from them. They have a vet tech there that you can talk to. That would give you information, or any of the nutritionists, or or Dr. Ryan, that the one that was here, the in my one of my videos, you can talk to him too, if he's available, whoever. But some of these are um, like some of the products um, that we use to treat mastitis. Like I say, I would say probably 95% of the time, 
Uh, this will get them over it. Um, just by rubbing this cream on it, like I say, um, yeah. be patient. Be patient with it. You know, it, it might take two weeks. You know, it can take up to two weeks sometimes for them to get over. You know, if they're if they're healthy, maybe a week. But just be patient. Um, the one thing that some people think, well, antibiotics are the answer. Well, they're not always the answer to it. I remember we used to be conventional dairy farmers. We've done that. We've treated cows with antibiotics. The thing when you treat a cow with antibiotics is is typically you're usually going to have, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to have one quarter on that cow that's bad with mastitis. So you treat that cow for antibiotics, so then you got to dump the, all the milk. So the thing about with treating it this way, and using this ultimate cream, or using any of these other products, is you're only going to have one quarter that you're going to have to milk out separately. And so all the rest of the quarters are going to be good. So you're going to be putting that in the tank anyways during the time. If you treat a cow with antibiotics, sometimes you have to dump that milk for a week or maybe two weeks, depending on how many treatments of antibiotics you have to give. Maybe two treatments, you know, depending on the severity of it. Um, so you got to do, you got to dump all that milk out. That's all gone. You can't put it in the tank because you can't have antibiotics in the milk. It's, it's illegal. So even if you're conventional, you're still better off to find a natural way to treat the cow for mastitis. It's still, at the end of the day, it's more money in your pocket because you're not dumping as much milk. And there are products that you can use, obviously, if you're conventional. We used to use a product called XNL. It was a mild form of an antibiotic that was approved and you could milk it in the tank. But why would you want to milk a bad quarter in the tank anyway? So why waste money on some product that, you know, that, you know, I guess you could still treat them for, with that XNL and still milk the other quarters, but then milk the other quarter in the quarter bucket. You could do that. Or there was another product called Naxtel, I think it was called, where you had to mix sterile water in the, in the powder stuff, and you could use that to treat it. Um, we had limited success with that. I remember a bottle, this is probably almost 20 years ago now since we last used that stuff but i remember a bottle that actually was 50 bucks i can't imagine what it maybe now it's 60 bucks a bottle i don't know but it didn't take long to, to use up a whole bottle of stuff and 60 bucks was gone just like that you know boom so um yeah so that's pretty much um what we do to treat mastitis like i say i can't stress enough the importance of making sure that you have healthy cattle in your herd that's why i really strongly recommend getting on board Getting on, that, getting on the telephone, calling up Crystal Creek, working with one of the nutritionists. Um, one thing that if you do also, um, I'm doing some free advertising for Crystal Creek again too. Uh, if you buy minerals from them, you, their nutrition service is free. So um, keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, if you don't buy minerals from them, you have, do have to pay for the nutritional service. Obviously, you know, they gotta get paid for what they do. But, um, I can't, like I say, I can't stress enough. Work, um, work with them. Work with one of the nutritionists to get your herd healthy. They have a great program. Um, I know we wouldn't be where we are today without their program. And like I say, these products help. It depends on the severity of the case, but um, you know, just like I say, the sooner you can catch it, the better off you are. Um, that's all I can say is is timing is everything. Time is of the essence. The sooner you get it, the better results you're gonna have. We had two cows that have mastitis. We treated them pretty much um, just this, this product here. We rubbed it on there. I think, I don't know. My brother usually does most of the treating. I mean, I rub this stuff on, but I don't think that we even needed to use any of this. I don't think we did. I think we pretty much just got it with this. And uh, so, like I say, you can do it. It's, you know, you, I would say you don't have a 100% success rate always. I mean, we have had some cows that we've, they end up having high somatic cell quarters because of it. Um, they never really did quite get over it. We've had, we've had a few cows here and there. So I would say, yeah, you probably have maybe, I'm going to say a 95%. You, you're going to, if you're treating it this way, you're going to have a 95% success rate. I'll, I'll say that much. It's pretty close. It could be a little higher, but 
I'm not going to say you, you're, I don't think you're going to have a hundred percent success rate all the time. But the important thing is obviously to prevent mastitis, make sure you pre and post dip and uh, control, keep flies under control and keep your barn clean, your stalls bedded up good or put lime in. Lime, throwing um, barn lime, like, you know, like limestone stuff in, in your stalls, that helps absorb up. Um, helps with it too, but anything that you can do to help fight it, keeping your house, cows healthy to start with, that helps. But So anyways guys, I hope you found this video educational, you hope you learned something. I hope I just wasn't preaching to the choir here, but if you learned something, great. Um, but if you guys have any more questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. So um, anyways, I gotta get going here. So. Um, Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Like I say, if you have any comments, drop it down there in the comment section below. And um, be sure to check out Crystal Creek. Get on board with those guys. They will help you be successful in your operation. And um, yeah, so anyways, um, also uh, please, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And thanks so much to everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, I guess that's it for today. So take care and I'll catch you later.